Welcome back, my amazing art club. I am so happy that you're here, and I missed you so much. I wish I could have seen you more this month. Today we have something very special that we're gonna be doing. We're going to be making fall ornaments. Now our ornaments are also going to be birdhouses, so you can have these as decoration and then the fall, and maybe you can put it on a Christmas tree if you celebrate that in the winter. You don't have to do that, obviously. And then when spring rolls around, you can put this on a tree and then maybe attract some baby birds. So I picked up the birdhouse that I liked, the birdhouse ornament that I liked, and you should find some Sharpies on your table. You may need to share. What you're gonna do is turn it over and we're gonna write our name on the back. All right, so I have written my name with Sharpie on the back or on the bottom, I should say, of my birdhouse. I want you to also indicate what grade level you're in. So if you're in fourth grade, please write four. If you're in fifth grade, please write five. This helps me know, just in case I can't read the name, what grade you're in um, so I can give this back to you. So please make sure that you have put your name and your grade. We're actually going to be going to the cafeteria to paint today. So what you're gonna do when I dismiss you from your red blue and yellow tables is you are going to meet us here and then I will give you further instructions upon entering the cafeteria. All right art club so when we get in when I dismiss y'all we're gonna be at the first four tables there's also some room over here by the stage remember you're gonna be sharing materials so you want to be really careful how you're moving make sure that you're not walking around with a wet paintbrush or accidentally painting on someone please be very very careful and also remember that Pissar is in here so we need to respect their space and um, they're gonna be respecting ours so just please make sure that you're not talking to Pissar or bothering them when we get down to the cafeteria you're gonna find some paint you'll find placemats and you'll find the itty bitty paintbrushes now we have Let's see, five different colors that you can choose from because we're making a fall inspired birdhouse. So we have black, we have orange, we have red, we have yellow, and we have white. Please don't mix the colors together because someone else might need that color that you're using. So when you decide to start painting, think about what color you might want to do it first. I'm going to go ahead and paint the roof of my birdhouse orange. Now these colors may not show up very well first. You may need to go back next time and add a second coat of paint just to add that extra color. Now we are sharing these colors, so make sure that you are sharing with a partner. Maybe you need to sit by someone in the cafeteria who's using the same color, or maybe you just need to wait your turn. You can paint something else a different color while you're waiting. Once you need to switch colors, you need to clean your brush just like we do in class. We'll have some water cups down there. You need to dip, swirl, let it drip, and then you need to do what? Hopefully you said dry off. You need to find a paper towel that is down there and dry off. Maybe you need one paper towel to dry off your color, and then you can go ahead and find a new color to use. Okay, so here's what I have. I ran out of time. There's some things I wanna change. I wanna go over the yellow with one more coat of paint, and then I think maybe I wanna add some more designs to kind of the middle and sides of my birdhouse. So we will do that next time. Please don't worry if you don't finish because I plan on having next art club uh, finish these. So please don't feel like you have to worry. Here are my expectations for today. Please do not talk to Pissar. Pissar is also going to be using the cafeteria. So we want to respect their space and make sure that they have a place to do their work. And I know that they're going to be really interested in what you're doing because it looks like a lot of fun. They're going to try to come over and talk to y'all. If y'all could please not talk to Pissar. 
I need you to also share and use kind words because we are sharing paint. We're sharing materials. You might be sharing the water cup as well, so please use kind words. Have fun and be creative. This project is totally up to you. If you have your own idea for your birdhouse, you need to go for it. That is awesome. I totally support you. Before we leave, um, you need to make sure that the lids are on back of the paint cups to make sure that they go back on. You might make a mess, that's okay. We will use our hands and put back the lids. And then once you put back on all the lids, you can leave your birdhouse on your placemat, but you need to make sure that your paintbrush is in the cup so like I can take it and then wash it later. Remember, once we are all done, I need you to leave this here so that we can work on it next time. So when you're gone, please be thinking about how you can make yours even better next time and add some more, maybe decoration or another coat of paint. Alrighty guys, I am so excited to get started and see what amazing ornaments y'all are going to make and see how creative you are. Also, please don't forget, we will have a meeting next Monday as well, just in case you did not finish your ornament today. So please don't feel like you have to finish. You might even want to save something for next time to do because I don't want you to be bored. So use your time wisely. If the color doesn't look right, you may need to put a second coat next time and make it even brighter. Awesome, guys. I will see you later.